Hi everybody, we're going to talk about some basic plant classification today, and apologies in advance for any Latin words that I butcher. The first way we classify plants is by whether or not they have vascular tissue. You'll recall that vascular tissue is conducting tissue and contains xylem and phloem. Vascular tissue also contains vascular cambium and cork cambium, but if you just remember xylem and phloem, you'll be all set. Plants that don't contain vascular tissue are called bryophytes. Bryophytes include moss, liverworts, and hornworts. These plants usually rise a maximum of a few centimeters above the surface they are growing on. Plants with vascular tissue are further subdivided by whether or not they have seeds. Vascular plants without seeds are called lycophytes and pteraphytes. Lycophytes, or club mosses, are tiny, pine tree-like plants. Lycophytes are distinguishable from bryophytes because they often have small spines and grow much taller. Pteridophytes are ferns. Vascular plants with seeds are further divided by whether their seeds are enclosed or unenclosed. Enclosed seeds are enclosed within the ovary. For example, the ovary of an apple tree is an apple, and the seeds are enclosed within the apple. Unenclosed seeds, like those of a pine cone, are not enclosed within an ovary and are open to the air. Plants with vascular tissue and enclosed seeds are known as angiosperms. As a general rule, think of angiosperms as plants with flowers or fruits. Plants with vascular tissue and unenclosed seeds are known as gymnosperms. As a general rule, trees with pine cones are gymnosperms, but ginkgo trees are also gymnosperms. Here is one last look at my chart of basic plant classification. Thank you for watching this video.